and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Rini and I share DIY home decor videos here on my channel. Today, I'm gonna be sharing some Urban Outfitters inspired DIYs. I think Urban Outfitters have some of the cutest decor pieces and I thought of recreating a few of them using air dry clay. So before we dive in, I'd love if you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So without further ado, let's hop right into the DIYs. I'm going to use this tub of Crayola air dry clay for today's project. The first DIY is inspired by this flower pinch bowl from Urban Outfitters and for that I'm taking a big chunk of clay. I'm warming it up and flattening it with a rolling pin which I only use for my clay projects. I'm going to continue rolling it until it reaches a thickness of about a quarter inch. Once that is done, I'm taking a piece of paper, placing this glass bowl on it and tracing a circle. Then I'm drawing these random curves surrounding the circle so they look like petals. Then I'm going to cut out the shape and place it on the clay. Taking a pointy clay modeling tool, I am tracing the shape on the clay. And then I am cutting out the shape with an X-Acto knife. I'm also smoothing the edges with some water. I'm taking the same glass bowl and placing a piece of plastic on it to prevent the clay from sticking to the surface. And then I'm gently pressing the clay into the bowl. I'm also lifting the edges a bit so it looks like a bowl. Now taking the pointy clay modeling tool again, I'm engraving on the bowl to add some dimension to it. So basically I'm just following the shape and drawing these little curves. Then I'm smoothing everything out with a brush dipped into water. After letting it dry for about 24 hours, I thought of filling those cracks. So I'm filling them by mixing some clay with water and we want to be very careful with it to prevent it from breaking. I'm also fixing the sides so everything looks nice and smooth. After 24 more hours, it is now completely dry so I'm painting it with white acrylic paint. I'm going to go for two coats to make the paint look flawless. I'm also painting the edges and backside of the bowl. Then I'm taking this light yellow paint and painting a circle in the center of the bowl. I'm working slowly with my brush and building up the shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle and we can also go back with the white paint to fix any mistake. After the paint has dried, I'm mixing a few drops of red to the light yellow paint and drawing a smaller circle in the center. This time I'm only going for one coat because I want some of the yellow paint to show through. While the paint is still drying, I'm taking a clean detailing brush dipped into water and softening the harsh edges of the circle. It makes the orange paint look like it is melting into the yellow paint. To soften the edges of the yellow circle, I have watered down the same paint and going along the edges. I mixed some chocolate brown to the orange. I've made it runny by adding a few drops of water to it and now I'm dipping the paintbrush in it and wiping down to get rid of the excess. Now I'm flicking the paint off the brush with my thumb. This is adding a very subtle texture to the bowl. To seal the paint, I'm going to be applying a coat of this polyurethane varnish. This will also give a satin finish to the piece. This is how our Urban Outfitters inspired flower bowl is looking. You can use it to hold jewelry pieces or house keys. The next DIY is inspired by these candle holders from Urban Outfitters. For that, I'm taking a chunk of clay and flattening it with a rolling pin on a piece of parchment paper. Then I'm taking this lid to use it as a template to cut out a circle. After cutting out the circle with a precision knife, I'm going to fix the edges. Now I'm using this gift card as a template to cut out a rectangle shape. The corners of the gift card are rounded so I'm just going in straight with my X-Acto knife to make sure we get a rectangular shape. The thickness we want to go for is about a quarter of an inch. Next, I'm taking a candle and wrapping the clay around it. It seems like a perfect fit but we want to ensure there is enough room because air dry clay shrinks a bit as it dries. I'm scoring both the sides with my X-Acto knife and mending them together. I'm pinching the sides together and making sure there is no gap. Here I'm just maneuvering it until I'm happy with the result. Also I'm smoothing everything out with water as I go. And then I'm also smoothing the edges of the circle. 
After that, I'm scoring the bottom of the cylinder and attaching it to its base. I'm trying to align it toward the center before attaching them together. Then I'm smoothing everything out with a damp brush. To make a handle for our candle holder, I'm taking a small piece of clay, rolling it out and using this lid as a template, I'm cutting out a small circle. Then I'm taking another smaller lid, aligning it toward the center and pushing it into the clay. This formed a little ring which is going to be the handle. I'm smoothing the edges down and attaching it to the side of the holder. We also want to make sure it is nice and straight and I'm going to let it dry for 48 hours. I made two of these and to color one of them, I'm combining beige terracotta off-white acrylic paints together to get a dusty rose color. I'm going to paint the entire candle holder with this color and we also want to paint the interior of it for a finished look. I'm also going for two coats of paint. To paint the other candle holder, I'm mixing some black, beige and off-white. In the same way, I'm going to apply two coats of paint and I'm also making sure the paint gets into all the crevices. Then I'm taking some watered down chocolate brown paint and lightly spraying it all over the surface of the candle holder. On the other candle holder, I repeated the same process after watering down some black and beige paint. After the paint dries down, I'm going to coat them with a thin layer of polyurethane varnish. This is how our candle holders are looking and I love how they look just like the ceramic ones from Urban Outfitters. For the last project which is inspired by these phases of moon wall hanging from Urban Outfitters, I rolled out a piece of clay till it was about a quarter inch thick. I found this random hairspray and fragrance bottle lids, bottle caps in my home which I'm going to be using as templates. First I'm starting with the largest lid and using it as a guide I'm cutting out a circle. Then I'm detaching it and trimming the excess clay with a knife. We are also going to smooth out the edges. Now I'm taking this lid which is one size smaller than the first lid. This lid has sharp edges so I'm basically using it like a cookie cutter to cut out a circle. I'm cutting out two circles using the same lid. I plan to cut nine circles in total. One circle with the largest lid which we already cut and two each with the other lids. This way I'm cutting all the circles and once that is done I'm going to smooth out the edges. Then I'll let the pieces dry for 24 to 48 hours. After they're dry, I'm first going to paint them with a white acrylic paint and I'm also going to apply two coats of it. Now I'm starting with the two smallest pieces and painting them black. Then I'm grabbing the pieces which are one size up and drawing little crescent moon on them. I diluted the black paint a little so it looks like it has a watercolored effect. Then I grabbed the other two pieces which are one size up than the previous ones and I'm dividing them in half and painting one of the sides black. We are also going to paint half of the edge black. Next, I'm going to draw two crescent moons on the last two pieces that are one size smaller than the largest circle. Using a rose gold acrylic paint and a small detailing brush, I'm outlining the border between black and white paint. For the final touches, I'm dipping an old toothbrush into black paint, wiping off the excess and lightly spraying the paint on all the pieces. To hang them, I'm taking two of these wooden rings and a piece of jute twine. First, I'm tying one end of the rope to the ring and laying it down. Then, I'm using this gift card to help me equally space out the pieces. I'm marking where I want the first piece to be and then I'm applying some hot glue on the twine and attaching one of the smallest pieces. In the same way, I'm attaching the next size and I'm making sure the crescent moon is facing up. I'm going to attach the first four pieces in an ascending order and all the moons are going to be facing upwards. 
Now I'm attaching the largest piece and from there I'm going to attach the remaining 4 pieces in the descending order and this time all the moons are going to be facing downwards. Once all the pieces are glued onto the twine, I'm going to take the other wooden ring, tie a double knot and trim the extra twine. So this is how our Urban Outfitters inspired banner is looking. I think it turned out super cute and I couldn't be more happy about it. So that was all for today and I really hope you liked the DIYs. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. My personal favorite were the candle holders. I think they turned out better than I envisioned. You can also follow me on Instagram at Dustyuse. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in my next one.